Hello, my name is Professor Dorothy Price. I'm Professor of Modern and Contemporary Art and Critical Race Art History at the Courtauld Institute of Art. And I've chosen this painting by Edgar Degas as my, one of my favorite works in the collection. Um, one of the reasons I love it so much is the way in which it stages the idea of stillness and serenity against what we know was a backdrop of turbulence. Um, it was painted in 1871 by Degas against the backdrop of the Franco-Prussian War and a siege on Paris. So essentially, Parisian citizens were barricaded in their homes against the battles raging outside. Um, and you can see some of that tension in the way that the woman is sitting. She has her hands kind of clenched, um, which really kind of is the sort of punctum of that tension, I think. But despite the tension, it's a very, very beautiful and still painting. And one of the really interesting aspects of it is the way in which Degas experimented with his materials to create an effect of pastel through oil paint. And he drained his oil paint um, of the oil uh, and then thinned it with turpentine and then applied these thin built up layers. So you get a really light touch. And that lightness of touch is also evoked in some of the sort of um, sketched areas of the painting, like the chair, which looks hardly finished. It's just indicated with a few brush strokes, but it's enough to, to, for you to know that there's an interior setting. And so you have the solidity of the model um, against the kind of lightness of her background. Um, there are apocryphal stories about how the model was paid, because obviously this was in the middle of the war um, and food was scarce. Um, and allegedly she was paid with a hunk of raw meat um, that allegedly she devoured straight away. And this is a story that's handed down to us from Walter Sickert, the English painter who owned this painting. Um, there are many other wonderful things I could be saying about this painting, but I think you should come and see it for yourselves. It's on show at the Courtauld Gallery in the permanent collections. 